When they left uh, the Arabian Peninsula, uh, the land of Bountiful, if they followed the course that later uh, Arab sailors followed, they would have gone virtually straight east across the Indian Ocean. And that required that it was during the season of the monsoon, when winds are from the south, but veering over toward Indian Peninsula. Nephi, no doubt, kept close to shore when he could. This was not something that was just tradition among shippers. This was used for safety and also used for resupply purposes. You come to a strait around Sri Lanka. Then you go in the eastern part of the Indian Ocean over to uh, the Thailand and M Malaysian Peninsula. The biggest problem they would have faced in the oceanic journey was probably water supply. Did they stop on the way? Surely. Uh, why go without water when you can go ashore and get it? And also give the kids a run on the sand. They may well have fished, of course. You'd expect them to fish on the way. Uh, fish is a very nourishing food and a lot of water in it. They might get some water from tropical storms, but that would be unreliable. Ships did not move fast. They didn't need to move fast. But they didn't need to resupply. Speed and time are modern concepts. Again, Nephi didn't need to hurry. He wasn't being pressured to do this. The voyage could have taken quite a long time. The distance is long, and it's made even longer by going along the coastline and not in a straight line. But the necessity for speed was simply not there. The place where the westerly winds caused by El Nino would go, would be south of the equator, uh, at least mostly. Hawaii is too far north. Fiji, a possibility. New Caledonia, a good possibility to the south of Fiji. And over to southern Polynesia, the Cook Islands, Tahiti, or some of the associated islands. Those are likely. And then he has to make the jump to the New World. And that would have been the most frightening part. That's when the bravery, and that's when the seamanship comes in. There's no island to seek refuge. My view is that they landed on the coast of Guatemala, possibly El Salvador, but I can't come any closer than that.